as we all know that the Indian government and its agency, National Hydroelectric Power Corporation, is trying to develop the Tista area. Now, Tista is a river, is a is a glacial river that comes from the high Himalayas. It uh, flows through terrains which are essentially unstable, geologically vulnerable, and Tista plays a very pivotal role in, 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 the, in, in the people's lives who live beside it in small villages and towns. And in many areas, people worship it as some form of a god or a goddess. And, and the respect and the love of the river. The Indian government and, and, and the governments in West Bengal and Sikkim and, and the so-called development agency like uh, NHPC, they are thinking differently. They think that they can develop the Tista area. And how do they propose to develop the area? They propose to develop the area by building a series of dams, huge, medium and so-called run of the river projects by building a series of reservoirs from the high up to, to the almost near the plains. So the river would be dammed at several places simultaneously. So they are going to create obstacles throughout the course of the Tista. As soon as it you know, comes down to the gorge from the glacial level, so they start building a dam there. Then several kilometers downstream they build another. Yet several kilometers downstream they built another dam. And so it goes on and on till the river is absolutely choked. So in each segment, we have a separate river flowing. I mean, geologically, it's no longer one river, which flows from the high Himalayas and goes down to the plains and ultimately meets the river Bambaputra in the Bangladesh. They're destroying the river in the name of development. As you can see that you know the stage four. On one hand, they are digging up the hillside for construction the dam. On another side, along the Kalijara stream, they are creating a huge embankment so that the mark can be stored later. So it means all round construction everywhere. At the mark storage site, at the new quarry places at the main dam site, everywhere. And what would be the end result of the, all that construction? I mean, how, how, how do they propose to cope up with so many unstable areas? And it's, it's, like, a, it's like a chain. You affect one hillside, the entire hillside will be affected. You do something, you tamper with one slope, the other, other slopes would be equally affected. 
because it's it's like hills are still growing as you all know and the soil is so weak and that has been said even in the you know very truncated very partial environmental impact study which erichb submitted it says clearly that any tampering with the road or any tampering with the slopes which pass along the road i mean which border the road would be disastrous because already the slopes are so weak so unstable that they cannot possibly take any more load of construction or any more tampering we have not said that i mean this has been categorically said by the environmental impact assessment which the development agency nhpc has submitted to ministry of environment but in spite of that they went ahead with project as we can already see that where uh, in the tista low jump project area i mean in, in where the stage 3 is being built near 27th mile on national 31a uh, as they started constructing i mean even even during the even during the first phase of the work one hole hit its side caved in as soon as the first blasts occurred and all along the hill slide even the upper villages the agriculture of fields are showing cracks in the soil there is a chance that the whole hill site might cave in in a very near future because they are going full steam ahead with the construction they are cutting and digging up and destroying the entire hill site i mean there has been new areas where you know we didn't have any history of landslides new landslides and new erosion areas are developing all along the national highway 31a and all along the tissa rivers I mean, wherever such construction is occurring the submergence area of tissa low dam 3 it extended for about 7 kilometers from the dam site and they said that they would build guard walls all along that area and all along the river but that stage 3 activity had started it's it's since it's 2 years now that the activity has started but we have not seen any single guard wall coming up the guard walls are not coming up because constructing guard wall along the entire hillside is simply impossible 